Okay, here's the little extra video that just shows you the back of the SP-1. So you've got two separate channels here that are, they're both the same. They're not special in any way. Like, you know, one isn't oriented towards mics or whatever. They're just, they've just got the two multi inputs here, right? And then they've got the same controls, reverb, ba reverb bass and treble. And then the volume controls are on each side. And then down here is just the Bluetooth input. I mean, it's got a volume level for that. And then you've got like a, you know, a line out here. And I think this is just for like upgrades and stuff like that. Uh, USB-C port there, I guess. And then down here, you can see you've got the, the um, power and uh, if you don't have it plugged in, it just runs off the battery. Otherwise, it runs off the line and it just powers by the normal AC power. So it's pretty nice. Um, and that's really, that's about it on the input stuff. So it's pretty nice. It would be kind of nice if it had like a, a mid-range control, but you know, it's, it's, it's okay. These little tone match things let you shape the mid-range a little bit. So it's got like none and like guitar oriented and vocal oriented and those you know they they're they do stuff so um so you can you can shape the tone a little bit more with those so i tend to use the you know um the guitar one on the melody and like the vocal one on the bass or sometimes i put it on guitar just so i'm not sure exactly what the properties what the tone match does exactly but so anyway, there you have it. That's what the back looks like.